is Grant Lewis. I'm a senior engineering technologist here at the Kansas City National Security Campus. And I'm here today to kind of walk you through uh, slingshot rockets today. You're stuck at home, need something to do, find out something, have fun outside, try to get the kids outside the house. We may have an activity here that might keep them excited for a while. What you need today is a straw, a eraser, a page fastener, tape, rubber bands, popsicle stick, and some construction paper. And a pair of scissors will help you as well. Let's get started. So, we're looking to have some fun, go outside and try to throw some things in the air and cause some things to fly. But when things start to fly, you have to have the right kind of um, design to make them fly straight and far. And so today we're going to design a rocket here. Now there's some of these household school materials that'll help us to shoot a rocket across the air. So we'll take our straw and we'll take a racer. And we'll put a racer at the end of our straw here. Now, if you don't have a racer at home, you just use some tape or some stuff and paper in there. But you want to make sure you, you stop the air from going through the straw. Air goes through the straw, you have a problem, the, the rocket will not fly. So then we'll take some tape and we'll tape it down, the racer down on the straw. And just a firm, just make sure it doesn't go anywhere, right? So eraser is on the straw. Then we'll take a page fastener. Now you may, may not have these at home, but you may have a paper clip and that'll work just as well. You just need something that's gonna be able to help you to propel this rocket as type, as type of a slingshot. So you wanna take this uh, paper page fastener and wanna put it alongside the straw, just like that. All right, the body's there. All right, so at this point, we want to better now to have some wings on our rocket. What we'll do here is fold the paper in half. Like so. And we'll cut at an angle here. Now the wings can be as big or small as you like. It's up to you. We'll then take these and cut them in half. We want to now take some tape. Now the tape you use can be masking tape, can be scotch tape. It can be whatever tape you feel you have in your household. You just want to make sure. You get your wing on there strong, secure. There's one wing and we'll do two wings for this one. It might be perfect, but just the, just the feel of wings on your, on your rocket. All right, so almost done here at the rocket now. But if, in order for us to, uh, to get this rocket to fly across the room, we have to actually make the slingshot. So here comes our popsicle stick and our rubber band. Take your rubber band on the back side of it towards the top, the top of your popsicle stick. And then you wanna tape it down. And you want to make sure it's on the back side of that because that's going to make help you create your best tension across there. So now we have a popsicle stick, which is now our launcher for our rocket. And now we have our rocket. Then you want to take it like a slingshot and load it back on your rocket, on your uh, popsicle stick here. And you want to make sure you hold on to the body and not the wings. And you want to try to find, make sure you find an opportunity for it to clear over your popsicle stick. And you want to pull back and let it go. And there you have your slingshot rocket. See how far, how far you can make them go, how, how wide you can make them go. Try angles, try different ways you can shoot them. Uh, different paper on there can cause it to be heavier or lighter, so it might not go as far or as fast, but you can play with it.